Hello my brothers and sisters and welcome back to another reaction packed episode of Crystal Butcher of oh, Friends. Now, I woke up this morning, I didn't know what I was doing for tea or what I've, if I was going to do a video or not, but uh, I have decided to do a video because while I was at work, we've got these on offer. Pork steaks in a Thai and coconut oil marinade. Now, with it being Thai, I thought I'd do, I've been a long time since I've had a Thai curry. By the way, this is not going to be nowhere near authentic Thai, do you know what I mean? So don't be saying, that's not authentic. I know it's not authentic. I'm telling you now, it's not authentic. But I have got some uh, red Thai chilli cooking sauce. I've got some uh, light, light, look at that, bloody hell, that's not heavy, is it? Very light coconut milk. And I've got some red Thai curry paste. Now, you don't normally use that with that. You normally use that with that, because basically that is that. Do you catch me drift? Uh, but I have got a lot of uh, pork there. And uh, I've looked on the instructions. It's talking about cooking fish. Uh, but I'm cooking pork. Also, we're having some uh, medium egg noodles as well. Uh, yeah, I'm cooking pork, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these in the uh, Jeffrey and uh, we'll cook them off and uh, we'll do that right after this. has come up to heat that's a good thing it you preheat this it's, it is good and i'm doing it on the griddle because i want to get a bit of char on it a bit of char beautiful uh and obviously because it's not fish i need this to cook so that is what i am doing i'm going to cook these for probably about 15 20 minutes cook them for what about maybe 10 minutes and flip them round and then carrying them on that way. So uh, yeah, next time you see me lift this lid, then I'll be done, hopefully. Right, I've had these on for 30 minutes. Cut them 15 minutes on one side, I've cut them on 15 minutes on the other. Them are definitely, definitely done. So what we need to do now is get them on the uh, chopping block and let them rest for 10 minutes. Let me swip my hands over because I'm on the wrong side of the camera. Like I said, there's five pieces there. That whoop, hey, uh, pounding me pork. <laughs> yeah, one, two, three, four. There's a lot of meat here. There's quite a bit of fat cover on these as well. I'll put this up to the camera if I can pick it up. I'll show you. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Come on, come on, play the game, you bugger. You can see there. Ten second rule. Ah, ah, ah. Right, I've tenderised that when I dropped it, but it doesn't matter. The floor is clean. There's plenty of fat on there to keep them. What that nearly went again. That that bugger. Eh? He's got a mind of his own. That bastard. Right, let them go for ten minutes. We'll get back down here then, and uh, we'll slice them up into nice little strips, and uh, we'll crack on with our Thai red curry. I've let them rest for about 10 minutes. And what I'm going to do is obviously I'm going to cut that off because it fell off anyway, didn't it? And I, I'll just, well, all I want to do is just strip this pork. Don't want it too uh, big lumpy cheek uh, pieces because we want to be able to chew it and stuff. But look how perfect that pork has cooked. Can you focus? Look at that. That is superb. I'm going to use the fat as well. Nothing's getting wasted. Honestly, the fat is the best bit, isn't it? You know what I mean? Look at that. Oh. Absolutely beautiful. Right, I'll crack on here. And uh, we'll get the uh, 
curry paste. The Thai red curry paste started. On the instructions of the red Thai curry paste, it says add oil to a frying pan and heat. Check. Add the contents of the jar to the pan and fry for two to three minutes. So, that is what we're going to do. I don't know which way I'm going to approach it. It's going to spit like hell at me. We've got to get out of the jar first, haven't we? Now, normally, normally I would put water in my jar, as you are, as you well know, from the last debacle. And, uh, but it's got oil in this pan. So if I add water to this, it's going to explode it. So right, I need to get the fork, the food in there, and I start stirring, don't I? Uh, two to three minutes, apparently. No, it didn't say much oil. I have probably used far too much oil but I have got far too much pork hence that's why I bought the cooking sauce as well but I will crack on here stir this like a lemon for two to three minutes continuously and uh, when that's done I'll be back with the pork by the way it's not on full power I've got it on medium high if that makes any difference to your life does it make any difference to my life anyway let's crack on that is ready for the pork. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be stupid and put all this pork in. Of course I am. Get it all in. Get it all incorporated. And all we've got to do now is mix this, stir this pork in. Probably using a better spoon than what I've got. So all that pork gets covered in that Thai red curry paste. And we've got to keep stirring this now for about another two to three minutes. And uh, apparently we're adding our coconut milk. But yet again, it doesn't say how much. I've got a full can. But I'm guessing it's going to take the full tin. And if I need any extra in there to cover it or whatever, I'll, uh, I will add the cooking sauce. But I'm trying not to, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to try and keep this. That's coming to, it's coming together quite well, that, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? It smells good as well. Absolutely smells fabulous. Right, I'll crack on here. And, uh, as usual, I'll be back. Right, I've been stirring that for two to three minutes. And if you can hear something smashing in the background, apparently we've got kind of like a hurricane coming up at Oldham, so 80 mile an hour winds. Uh, and it's getting up now. Anyway, I'm digressing. I've turned the hob down to a simmer, but now we're going to go in with our coconut milk. I've never used coconut milk before. That's weird. It's really white, isn't it? Uh, and you know what? I am going to put the full, full jug in balls to it why not give it a good stir get everything worked in that oil that oil that excess oil in there has gone red that is brilliant do you want to get a good curry and then i said he's got that oil pa oil patches on it and you, you all you said oh it's a good sign of a good curry that well hopefully that's what i've got here now you probably sat there screaming at your phone or screaming at your laptop or screaming at your telly whichever way you like to watch my videos on going chris that is far too much coconut milk man <laughs> milk man uh, early he drove the fastest milk car in the west right i'm digressing again you know i've not even had a drink yet and i'm starting to get excited right anyway it says simmer for 15 to 20 minutes that is what i am going to do and uh, the, basically, all we need to do after that is get our uh, Chinese. <laughs> I know it's multicultural curry, this. I'm having a Thai red curry with Chinese egg noodles. Who cares? We don't care. It'll go down our gizzard and make a turd. So basically, that's when we'll be back, is when we're cooking our Chinese noodles. I honest to God don't know if it needs it, but I'm putting that uh, Thai curry sauce in as well. Because you know what? There weren't a lot of it. And after tonight, I doubt he'll, I'll even ever, ever use it again. So it'll probably go out of date. So we might as well get it stirred in, get it incorporated, and uh, see what the hell happens, isn't it? Ah, yay! It's smelling good. And, and it has thickened it up as well, as you can see. I'm, I'm actually done this off the coffee. I mean, I ain't got my phone on the stand of a. Uh, Got the phone in my hand. So here's, this is kind of like really raw. The pork's not raw, though. That is cooked to absolute pathetic. 
action. Look at it. Look at it. Our curry is done. It's still simmering. I've turned it right down just to keep it warm, keep it succulent. Uh, and now I've got me water to the boil. It just says add the noodles to the boil of water. I really, really don't know how many noodles these make. I just put in the full packet. I could end up be eating noodles for the next week. But there we are. Turn the heat off. And leave them for seven minutes apparently. So uh, that's what we'll do. And uh, next time you see it all, it'll be nicely placed on a plate. Not like dog shit like normal. Yeah, actually, probably will look like dog shit. Well, I've finished it. My Thai red curry with Chinese egg noodles. Eh, well. But you know what? We need to get in here and give it a good... Bon apple teeth, don't we? There we go. Mmm. Even me with no teeth, that pork is tender. It's not spicy, it's not hot. It's, I tell you what, it's really tasty. And uh, obviously, if you skip past the video, I did use the uh, the sauce as well. Just to thicken it up. Look at the fucking egg noodles. Bloody hell, I only want a few. My God. I stuck, I just stuck egg, I just stuck noodles to the top, bottom of the cupboard. <laughs> right, let's get them down my gizzard if I can. Right, go. That was like trying to eat Rapunzel's head. Kim is going ape shit in there on Oculus. But yeah, not much kick to it. Little bit of spice. Tasty as hell. The pork is tender. What can I say? That is a banging tea. Hi, Red Curry, brothers and sisters. It's getting late in the day and I'm knackered and I go to bed. I'm up early in the morning. But yeah, there it is. It's took longer than it should have done to cook, but that's because I've been filming it. And that's the uh, that's what happens when you're filming, you're cooking. It does take an extra three hours. And now I've got to edit it, produce it, and upload it. So uh, on that note, I'm going to tell you, I loved it. I didn't just love it, I liked it. If you like this, press like, comment, share it on your social media, and subscribe. Bah! I'll make up a family member of hashtag Team CT. B. Where I fucking hell cracked again then. <sighs> fucking love you.